Welcome to Israel 365 News. I'm your host, David Sidman, here with Rabbi Tuli Wise. Rabbi, how are you today? I'm good, David. How are you? Good, thanks. Let's get right to it. Today's top story. The, an official from the United Arab Emirates has actually announced that sovereignty in Judea and Samaria will not hinder peace efforts, which is quite a revolu- which is quite a revolutionary statement coming from the head of a Gulf state who actually says that when Jews conquer the land of Israel, the biblical ancient homeland of Israel, which is of course Judea and Samaria, it will not be an obstacle to peace. I think that is a pretty historic statement that we can all get behind. Would you agree, Tuli? Absolutely, because everyone was saying that settlements are the obstacle to peace. And finally, you're hearing it from the UAE that really they don't even care. It's not the only historic statement that was made today in the UAE. Coming from the UAE, Jared Kushner said today that he expects all 22 Arab states to make peace with Israel. He said they all want to and basically have been prevented to because of the Palestinian veto. Well, yeah, that's interesting because a lot of people see the UAE, the UAE Israel Abrahamic Accords deal as something that's uh, only isolated to the United Arab Emirates. But now we're learning that this is much bigger than we realize. We're talking about all 22 Arab states. This completely unimaginable only a year ago that all 22 Arab Muslim states would actually recognize Israel and normalize relations with them. Completely unprecedented. And it's all thanks to Trump's peace efforts. He, and, it's, and it actually leads into a story that, that Eliyahu Berkowitz wrote today about the true sons of Ishmael coming up onto the Temple Mount. Now, when we talk about the true sons of Ishmael, we're talking about Arabs from the Emirates, not the Palestinians. Because first of all, in the Arab world, Palestinians aren't really considered true Arabs. Believe it or not, they're they're considered to be kind of a, a, a mixed bag of Greeks and Turks and other nomads who traveled through the region. And so there's an ancient prophecy in the Zohar, which is the book of Kabbalah, that says that the son the sons of Ishmael will come up to the Temple Mount and pray to God. And with these Abraham with these Abrahamic Accords and the UAE Israel Israel deal, this is actually coming to fruition. It seems like, and that's precisely what what Eliyahu Berkowitz spoke about in his article today. That's right. It's a real paradigm shift because, you know, until now, the Temple Mount has been sort of um, primarily been occupied by the Palestinians, and uh, they have had sort of this exclusive monopoly and the Jordanians on the Temple Mount, really boxing out so many of the other Arabs. And in the article in today's Israel 365 News, we explain how they perhaps are not the true sons of Ishmael, and uh, there's a lot more to meet the eyes. So stay with us. We're about to uh, hear more. We just from- Julie, we just got one more story I just want to get in real quick. Sure. That's okay. Uh, terror alert. There was a car ramming in the Tapuach Junction today, which is in Samaria. An Arab terrorist rammed his car into a soldier and a policeman and came out of the vehicle trying to stab both of them. Some alert police officers were on the scene, shot the sold, shot the terrorist, excuse me, who is now in serious condition, and the soldier and policeman who were victims of the car ramming are in light condition. Yeah, so please pray for the victims of the terror attack, as always. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And um, it's a, an ongoing struggle here in the land of Israel when it comes to the Palestinian terror. Um, we're about to uh, go to our prophecy reporter, Eliyahu Berkowitz, who has with him a guest on today's show, Harry Moskov. We'll talk about the secret tunnels on the Temple Mount just after this quick break. The prophet Isaiah says in chapter 40, comfort, comfort my people, O Israel. And friends, we have a special opportunity to not only comfort the people of Israel, but to comfort the Holocaust survivors whose health is failing and their needs are increasing. And please, please, I implore you to partner with Israel 365 in order to provide comfort to the Holocaust survivors in Israel today.
Hi, this is Adam Eliel Berkowitz. I'm the feature articles writer for Breaking Israel News. Uh, we spend a lot of time writing about um, biblical archaeology or archaeology in Israel. And the special thing about archaeology in Israel is it's not just a dry science. It's really uh, digging up the proof of the Bible, the, the actual artifacts from the Bible. And to be to put it simply, um, there's, there's a, a battle going on between the powers of light and the powers of darkness. The, and the powers of darkness are actually trying to prevent the science of archaeology. And this happened last week um, through a, 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 an amazing thing. Where, uh, basically, I think a truck was driving around and broke a flagstone on the Temple Mount. And underneath the flagstone was a tunnel. And uh, most people who, who, in the Jewish sources especially, we learn about a tunnel complex underneath the Temple Mount. Um, some of it was used for the actual service in the temple, and some of it was not so essential to the temple service. There were cisterns, there was um, there were there were uh, sewers, um, uh, also even taking out the blood from the altar to the to the river. Um, and what happened as a result? You you would think that a tunnel, uh, which was certified by an archaeologist, uh, Tzachi Dvira, uh, said that this was from the second tunnel, se second temple. And it was filled in with concrete before any archaeologist could even look at it. Um, so I'm here talking with Harry Moskov, Rabbi Harry Moskov, uh, the author of the Ark Report. He's um, an invest investigative uh, author, journalist. Uh, he is very um, cogent in the uh, Jewish sources referring to all these things, especially the Temple Mount. And... Uh, he he was he he was uh, on top of this. He saw the truck on the Temple Mount. So Harry, I'd like to thank you for being here. Um, I'd like to ask you one question. Do you think this uh, this uh, tunnel that they discovered? Do you think it's part could be part of the tun tunnel complex of the Temple Mount? Well, uh, that's the question that everybody seems to be asking. First of all, I just wanted to say Mazel Tov to Tilly and David on the Israel uh, 365 News uh, News uh, cast. Uh, that's uh, the updates is fantastic. Great job, and glad to be here. Uh, yes, uh, Eliyahu, that's what everyone's asking. Could it possibly be? Now it may be, you know, quote unquote, just a uh, drainage channel that was made by the Romans, uh, still two thousand years old, uh, going down into the Kidron Valley that you mentioned before. Uh, but you know, even if that is the case, it still needs to be treated like a real archaeological. Of course, it is. Uh, an actual excavation site. Now, it may be also something more than that. It is very possible, uh, unlikely, but still possible, that it really does have something to do with the temple environment, the temple compound itself. Uh, it could be an air shaft uh, or even a light shaft leading into one of the tunnels that the uh, Kohanim, the priests, my own ancestors used to go from the temple complex down into the tunnel, like it says in uh, the Talmud, all the way over to the southern wall into a mikvah, to a ritual bath. So at, at different points along the way, it makes sense that they would need an air shaft or a light shaft to help them, even though they had, as it says in the Mishnah, they had little places for candles to go there. So it could be, which would really be an incredible find. I, I, in your book, um, which I just couldn't put down and read it in one sitting, um, <laughs> not because it was short, it was an amazing book, you discuss that according to the... Um, According to the Jewish sources, um, the Ark of the Covenant was actually um, hidden in a chamber underneath the uh, site of the with the Golden Dome, the Dome of the Rock. Uh, I think we have a technical problem. We lost Harry for a moment. But in his book, he discusses that there was a special chamber prepared specifically in. The, in the, yes, here we have his book, The Ark Report, a special chamber prepared for the um for the 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 ark of the covenant to be hidden um so the fact that we cannot find the ark of the covenant today um it it it's because we are not being allowed to investigate these tunnels like the one that was opened up um if harry comes back we'll we'll interview him um uh, i'd just like to to stress that um the the horrible aspect of this was that not only, I mean, as a Jew, I'm very interested 
in in investigating the Temple Mount for spiritual reasons. But you have um, archaeologists who are tearing their hair out because here they had an opportunity to investigate a ton a tunnel from over 2000 years ago we don't know how long ago could you uh, that that area was constructed by herod and they were prevented um all because of politics i think it's more than politics i think it's actually the war against light and darkness so that was absolutely prevented and um i interviewed uh Tzachi Dvira, who works on the um on the sifting project and the sifting project was created after uh, the Waqif, the Muslim Authority, did an illegal um, construction project and literally hauled away uh, truckloads full of earth. And the earth was artifact rich. They've been literally sifting it and they reconstructed, reconstructed a sec section of the temple mosaic floor. They found countless artifacts. And this was from illegal construction that's going on. This illegal construction has has huge uh, archaeological significance. It has huge political significance. And also, we are talking about the temple. So this was just filled in with concrete and ignored. Um, and that's just happened last week. Hi, Tuli. OK. Thank you, Eliyahu. Thank you, Eliyahu, for that report. Thank you, Eliyahu, so much. And thank you, Harry Moskov, for uh, being the expert when it comes to the Temple Mount and the tunnels underneath the Temple Mount. We are so excited about Israel 365 News. Obviously, we are figuring it out. We appreciate your patience. And we want you to, most importantly, continue to pray for the peace of Jerusalem every single day. Shalom from Israel.